What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bullshit, where we tell it like it is and not the way it wants to be told. You know how sometimes some people may make videos that just speaks for themselves? It's like the person that's narrating the video really doesn't have to say anything because the topic that he, she, he or she may be speaking on, it just is so self-explanatory that, you know, that, you know, like they don't need to speak on anything. Well, this is one of those videos. So, George Zimmerman, haven't heard anything about him since, you know, him getting, uh, um, bailed out of, uh, out of jail, and, of course, he's currently doing trial, and, uh, yeah, and, um, well, like I said, I, sh I don't need to say anything, so I'm gonna just, uh, like, play the video. You know, like it only lasts 39 seconds. Is there anything you regret? Do you regret getting out of the car to follow Trayvon that night? No, sir. Do you regret that you you had a gun that night? No, sir. Do you feel you wouldn't be here for this interview if you didn't have that gun? No, sir. I, I, you feel you would not be here? I feel that it was all God's plan, and for me to second-guess it or judge it, um... Is there anything you might do differently in retrospect now the time has passed a little bit? No, sir. Yeah, he just said that. How much of an idiot can you make yourself look? He said that it was in God's plan for him to shoot Trayvon. Okay, let's elaborate on this. Because... I've actually had conversations in the past with with individuals who have had master degrees in theology. Um, yeah, when things like this come into your life, it's a test, right? As Christians, you know, like, this is what we are taught, that God will test you. And God gives you an option on whether or not you want to do things this way or do things this way. You know, if you do things, you know, this way, this will happen. Or if you do things that way, these things will happen. I highly doubt it was a part of God's plan for you to get out that car, follow Trayvon, and shoot him. You made an assumption, an assumption, that this guy was going to get away. The audio was all over the internet. You felt like this was the guy who was doing such and such in your neighborhood and you followed him. Mind you, prior to you doing this, you called the police and the police told you not to get your ass out that car. Do not get out the car. We don't need you following him. And you decided to do it anyway with a firearm which ultimately ultimately led to Trayvon getting shot. You decided to make the conscious, the conscious decision to follow him, and we already know the story of what happened after. So... This is really just a toss-up for me. I'm not 100% sure what the hell he was thinking when he was saying this shit. Um, yeah. 
you just cannot. I mean, this is really one of those things that makes you just want to put an, an imaginary gun to your head and just go, Pow! because he just made himself look that much more idiotic. You know, if you already got your hand caught in the cookie jar, you know, when you take it out, there's crumbs. People see, okay, you were the one digging in here. You know what I mean? You got caught red-handed multiple times. So, yeah, you should have done the conscious thing and let the police handle the situation instead of you wanting to play hero and chasing after this kid. Then he asked the question, hey, if you didn't have that gun that night, do you think things would have turned out differently? It's just basically what he, you know, and asked him. You know, like, no. Um, you know what? I'm, like I said, this speaks for itself. I'm not because I'm rambling on and I just can't find the correct words to even contemplate with this stupidity. But, uh,. <laughs> Yeah, the link to this is going to be in the, in the description. You guys can take a look at it. You know, you can pull up your own hypothesis, your own opinions. And, um, yeah. Hey, as long as there's bullshit in the world, I'm going to have shit to talk about. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.